Hi everyone. So another lunch for bikinis on a Friday. Uh, we are, I know that I'm not in a bikini today and you know, I'm sorry. It's just today was a little different, but you could just imagine it. Think about it. Me in a bikini, you in a bikini. We can all be in a bikini with these lunches. Okay, back to work. We're making some shishito peppers today. Uh, super simple. I'm going to make some chicken drumettes in the oven so you don't have to fry them. It's going to be delicious with a little Thai chili sauce. And then we're going to do a little, um, kind of my version of a sangria because sometimes you don't want to go to the supermarket and buy all the ingredients for sangria. And it's going to be just as delicious. Yummy. Okay, let's start. So right now I'm just going to tell you all the ingredients. I'm going to put them in the, uh, on the stove afterwards and then we can figure it out as we go along, right? So shishito peppers, they look like this. You buy them at any market, right? You're going to take a little ghee. I love myself a little ghee. You take maybe like a, a teaspoon. Again, I like to cook like by feel, right? Just think about it. And I know a lot of people actually make comments about me touching my hair and cooking. I'm not cooking at a restaurant and I'm not cooking for you. So whatever. <laughs> Here's a little olive oil. So what you want to do is coat your pot with olive oil all at the bottom. A little ghee. You're going to then put it over there and your stove, medium heat. When you see it all bubbling up, you're going to throw your shishito peppers in and then uh, just sprinkle a little ponsu. Can you check it out? I love this stuff. Ponsu, this is a lime ponsu sauce. Just going to sprinkle it all on top. And maybe like a little teaspoon and a quarter of soy sauce and just let it kind of shh, fry up get nice and delicious get toasty get a little brown and colorful and then we're going to take them out it's going to be delicious chill peppers they're going in like Chicken, chicken, and more chicken. I like chicken. So this is gonna be great because it's tiny little drumettes, kind of wings, you know, I like them, but it depends. Sometimes you can just buy the drumettes and sometimes they come with this other part, the wing part. I like them both. Um, so here you go. You just take them out and you place them on your tray. And this is, you know, I like to line it with foil paper just because I don't like to do dishes. <laughs> I feel like it's much better to do it this way. So I'm just going to place them all here like so. And it's so simple, so good. And uh, for those people that like fried chicken, this is like a good um, substitute. So I'm going to fry it for it to taste good. And you can throw your bathing suit, your bikini on and be all done with it in life. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll be right back. So while you're doing this, you wanna put your oven at 375. And I say just look at them, you know, you're gonna put them in there for like 40 minutes. You can flip them if you want, and then you're gonna broil them for two minutes. That's it. You're gonna use your olive oil, you're gonna sprinkle olive oil all on top of them. Like this garlic salt like I wash my hands I didn't even dry them I just think they look sexy like that just what hands while you're cooking and this is Italian seasoning so that's garlic salt A little Italian seasoning oops That's not the first time that happens to me, just so you know. Uh, so just make sure that you know which side you're opening. Because <laughs> uh, you, all you want to do is a little sprinkle of Italian seasoning on top. So olive oil, garlic salt, Italian seasoning right here. Big ups to my friend Don who gave me this recipe. Love you for life. And then a little pepper, cracked pepper all over them like so we're going to repeat the same thing flip them and do the same thing on the other side pop them in the oven again like 35 minutes in the oven at 375 
check them, you can flip them. If you need a little more time, then you can do so. And uh, then you kind of let them brown for two to three minutes on broil and then pop them up. I'm gonna show you exactly how they look in a second. Going into the oven. All right, guys, this is what I call a bootleg sangria. <laughs> you're gonna take, not so bootleg, because it's still gonna be delicious, okay? So you're gonna take your fruit and you're gonna cut it the day before, and you're just kinda gonna let it be in a little bit of red wine. Pinot Noir is my favorite to make this. So you're just gonna let them simmer, 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 something like that. You're gonna let them just be there for like a night, right? So you get blood oranges, uh, you cut up some green apple, and then you're gonna take blueberries and blackberries and just kind of squish them all together. Throw them all in there, a little bit of red wine, and then a little bit of sugar, leave them overnight, and then you take all of that delicious fruit and you're gonna put it all in your sangria jar. Some of them fall, it's all right, we're not perfect. Oh, see? It already smells delicious. So you're gonna take some sweet wine, any one will do. Go to your grocery store, whatever you can find, get your hands on, you're gonna put this on. Just a little bit, maybe like to there, you test it out. I would say maybe like a cup and a half, uh, or maybe two cups, depending on how sweet you want it. And you're gonna take your Pinot Noir, put it all in there, delicious. Share with your friends, keep it for yourself. It's Friday, we're done. Let's have a good time. And then you're gonna take some club soda, just cause you want to be hydrated. And then maybe half of the club soda in there. Boom. Take a little extra sugar, refined sugar. Two little teaspoons. Shake it up. I'm gonna add some ice and then we're gonna to toast in a second with all the food. Okay, so it's all done. The shishito peppers are right here. Look how delicious they look. Mm, they taste even better. So I am gonna give you one last pointer for the shishito peppers. If you're cooking them and you feel like they're getting all toasty and brown like this, but they're still hard, just add a little extra water and put another top in it, the top in it one more time and then they get nice and delicious like this. Mm. You want them to have a little crunch Oh my God, that's delicious. Mmm, we want it to be soft. Here you go. Our wings, we didn't have to fry them. They look amazing, dramatic. I like the whole wing, as you can see. And you have two options. So I love it with the Thai sweet chili sauce. You can get it at Trader Joe's. Any supermarket, super simple. It's sweet, spicy, delicious. But um, for those of you that don't like sweet, you can also have just like some regular wing sauce, buffalo wing sauce, and it's amazing. Mm, I am so ready for this Friday bikini lunch. And last, a little drink for a little toast. Enjoy, happy Friday.